Hey friends, it's Dusty here and uh, welcome to our devotional series as we're working through the book of James. And today's scripture I'm going to be focusing on, it comes out of James chapter 4 verse 6 that says this, that God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble. Now this is a scripture that I've thought about a lot and growing up I would constantly come back to it because I was always scared that pride would creep into my heart and that God would oppose me. The scary thing about the scripture is that the definition of oppose means to actively resist. And so when you read that, it says that God would actively resist the proud and give grace to the humble. It's a scary thought that with if we are people of extreme pride, that God would actively resist us. But on the flip side, it's exciting to know that those who are humble, God gives grace. And in some interpretations, it says that God gives uh, favor. And that makes it so much more exciting and sweet for us to be seeking humility because we live in the favor and in the grace of God. And that's a beautiful thing. But let's talk about pride. How do we avoid it? Well, the definition of pride in this situation that um, I would like to sum up is pretty much pursuing our own will over God's will, putting ourselves above God. And how do we avoid this? Because I don't know about you, but I've never woken up in the morning and said to myself, Dust, you are the most proud person I know. Like you are struggling with pride. You need to talk to somebody. You need to sort yourself out. Because I feel like pride has always kind of been that silent ninja that creeps into my heart over time and then eventually starts to do damage. And if we look from Genesis to Revelation, God has always opposed the proud. He has never tolerated pride. We see that in scripture. And so that's why it's so much more important for you and I every now and then to be going back and just doing some self checks to see has pride crept into our heart. It's a blind spot that many of us are not able to see. And so just actually last year, I went on a journey, self reflection again on this issue of pride. I called up Graham Keegan. I said to him, I'm just going through pride. Do you think I'm arrogant? Do you think I've got pride in my heart? We spoke about it and so on and so on. And then I came up with a list of questions because I thought because it's a blind spot and I'm not able to see it, it might be good for me to revisit these questions now and then to check it in my life. I wanted to share the questions with you and uh, and maybe you could weigh it out in your life too. Here are some of the questions that I ask myself when dealing with other people. Do I interrupt people regularly when they're speaking to me? Do I find it hard to be open and honest with others? Do I find it hard to admit when I don't know something or when I am wrong? Do I resent people for trying to correct me? Do I have a hard time cooperating with others because I want things to be done my way? Do I tend to be critical of others instead of first celebrating others? Is criticism the first place I go to? Uh, Do I always want to impress other people or want others to be impressed with me? Do I like to talk about myself and the things that I am involved in and never show interest in others? Do I like listening to others or does that bother me? When facing failure, is my initial response to blame others or to take responsibility? And are there times in my life where I feel special or superior to others because of who I am or because of what I have or do? Those are just some questions to get you thinking so that we can look for this little silent ninja in our lives to make sure that we are not living in a place of pride. But I know one thing as I come to a close that's always helped me through the journey of trying to find pride in my heart is to be accountable, to just live accountable and an open life. God bless you and I hope you have the best rest of your day.